Hi developers, so in last part we created a static checkout page UI in our, our application and now we will make it dynamic. So for that we have to get the data from this uh, shipping address form, we have to show the actual amount of our card and we have to integrate the API also. So let's start with the points of this video. So firstly we will get the shipping address form data, after that we will uh, show the actual price of card there uh, with the tax, discount, delivery charges and all. And uh, then we will make a service uh, function for uh, order API and uh, after that we will integrate our uh, order API and we will display a message also once order is placed. So uh, in the next part we will make a my order uh, page and we will show the uh, current order of the user. So now we can start with the first point and uh, one more thing I am just closing all of these pages and uh, I'm just jumping on checkout.component.html file. So here I am creating a ng submit event and uh, we, we can make a function, let's say order now and inside this we can pass the value of this uh, form which is order data dot value, right? And we need to create this function also because this is not created in our TS file. So let's create that one also and for a moment we will just get a data of any type i will just uh, put the actual uh, data type there within a moment and let's just try to create a uh, check out the data like what we are getting there and one more thing if you want to get the data with all fields then we have to put their ng model and let me just add this ng model with the all fields all right now we can check the actual uh, data like what we are getting with the form all right so let me open the console there and uh, i am putting some random data let's say anil at the rate test uh, daily socket or double nine double nine whatever and if i just click over the order now you can see that we can get the data from this input field great now the next thing is we have to show the actual amount of the card there right and for that I will just copy some data from card page and paste there right. So I am just completely copying the ng on it. So now you can ask that why you are you are not using this complete function reuse, uh, uh, reusing it. The reason is because I don't need actually complete function this. So I will just remove some data from this function and I am just doing that. So there what I don't need their uh, card data there right and I don't need uh, these all uh, price summary dot tax discount and all I just need one price uh, and one more thing I have to just import the product service file also so I'm just creating a private property with the name of product and that will be the instance of uh, product service all right and uh, i am just putting a one more property there so let's say property name is total price or something i think that is fine and uh, type of this will be number or undefined as by default this is undefined and now you can just uh, replace the uh, price summary with the total price all right okay so now you can check like we are getting proper data or not there so on a refresh you can see that our price is 1,40,000 uh, not 40,000 so 1,4750 so if I am just checking it on the cart then this is the same price right so now we can display this uh, with the total amount so I am just using this property inside our HTML file with the double curly braces or you can say that in interpolation okay that is great so now the next thing is uh, for if we want to uh, just create a order then we have to uh, just collect the uh, email address detail amount as well as user id so let me just create a complete object and so that we can just send it in the api right so there so now I'm just putting the actual type of this uh, order now data, right? So there will be three data as you know, email and the type of email could be string. Even you can 
put this uh, data in data type file as an interface but we are using this uh, uh, data only one place that's why i'm just not creating a uh, interface for that right after that address address could be again string and phone number which is contact and that will again a string if you want then you can make it uh, a number also but sometime in uh, contact we have plus uh, sign also like before country code and uh, hyphen after country code and the actual contact number right so i am just putting it string also the next thing is we need a uh, user data right user id at least so i'm just creating a getting the user id from the local stories so local stories dot get item user and after that let's create a user id and we'll check that if user is not null then json dot parse we can use with the user right okay so and that will be actually the value now the type so i need to put there equal to okay and after that let me create a one more object there um, so let's say our object name is uh, order data but first of all we need to check that this dot total price is uh, not undefined right otherwise uh, if price is not uh, defined there uh, due to any error or api failure uh, that time we should not call it, uh, the order now right so we will check this and after that we will just put there uh, order data or whatever you want to create and now we can just simply use data we can just spread it after that uh, we can use the total price and that will be the total price right and uh, as a property of it i just need to remove this from there and the last one is user user id okay and let me just get a variable also there but now uh one more thing actually we need to put their column mm -hmm. yeah and one more thing guys uh, for data type we have to define the actual interface for this right so i am just opening a data type file and uh, let me just create an interface export interface and after that uh, order and inside it what we can put there email string and uh, address is also string contact again string total price total price will be number and the uh, last one is user id that will be again a number now we can uh, just uh, use this uh, i don't need this card so i'm just, uh, just closing it we can define the type of this order now right so order data and this is automatically imported on the top you can see that and uh, let's open the product service.ts file so that we can uh, create a function for service and let's say our function name is order now you can put any name whatever you want and there we will get data and the type of data will be again order and uh, just to save the time i am just getting this data copying this this line and just making some changes there i don't need this return type after that uh, let me remove all of this and uh, yeah one more thing in db file we have to define a object also right so there i am creating a one more object with the name of orders and that is basically array so now uh, as you know that in last time we created a object for cart and uh, users and all so just make the apis for uh, the orders we have to just put that in our db.json file uh, if you are using a json server all right and let me put there orders can I close it 
and uh, as this is a post request so we have to pass this data also perfect and now we can call this api uh, once our order data is ready so this dot product dot order now and there what we can put there data um, order data right order data and we can subscribe it subscribe it will return a callback function and uh, here we can check result right so i don't need to just make it console directly we can check that if result is there we can just simply show a alert like uh, order placed so uh, i am not redacting for a moment because uh, our order na uh, my order page is not ready so we'll just redact it in the next part so now let's check everything is working fine or not right so i'm putting some uh, data in form and uh, let's say address is uh, noida x or something and uh, contact detail is this so if i'm just clicking over the order you can see that order is placed and if you want to check api then let's go to the network order is placed and we got some uh, result also there and uh, one more thing guys what actually i need to check there actually i just sent the old details of uh, user so i just need to send their only id right i don't need to send all data this is uh, placed by mistakely okay so here you can see that we got all details so what i'm going to do there i'm removing this object for a moment and i will hit our api again <clears throat> so again i am just using the same email address noida sector x double line double line and if i'm just putting the order now order is just again placed and now we have only user id there right here you can check so our one order is placed now so there is some things are pending like uh, if you order is placed the card should be empty obviously right so we will do it in the next part as well as uh, we will just make a order now page so almost 45 leads are there maybe 44 or 45 uh, uh approximate uh, 48 or 49 video will become or you can say that almost 50 videos will become so soon we will just close close this project and after that we will start something new and uh, if you just uh, get to learn something then i'm requesting you to just support me by subscribe my channel like this video and share your valuable feedback and if you want to just donate something then you can use my paytm id uh this is my wallet id as well as upi id also thank you guys thank you so much for watching this video